The shelf is looking great. Welcome home. Thank you, Ruit. Thanks for the welcome home. We'll continue our slow and steady progress to our father. Oh, it's an RPG, old school RPG style? JRPG or WRPG? <laughs> Let's see. I guess I'll just find out myself. I mean, it is free, right? Although I may not have time to try it out, to be honest. Because, of course, tomorrow I'll be recording with Zephy. So the earliest I'll be able to play is probably Wednesday. Hey, we have a church off in the distance. I think I remember that church, and... I remember it's fun times over there. I'm sure we'll find that out soon enough, so I'm going to go ahead and lay down a big save, just in case. JRPG with some need elements. I gotcha. Oh, need elements. <laughs> oh my god, a scorpion! Holy shit, it's the first one I've ever seen! And the first one I've ever punched! Well, that was fun. Any more? You actually took two punches, you little rascal. It's that hard carapace. There actually may be some death claws around here, too. It's like we have a, a toxic oils or a toxic oil spill. A toxic uh, waste spill over here. Or dump, anyway. At least no one's shooting at me from the bell tower yet. If that isn't a problem with this. And I'm hungry. Let's have a squirrel on a stick. I'm moderately full. Hmm. I know it doesn't look too bad, does it, Scott? It's because of the, uh, fell out mod, actually. Holy shitballs! I'm on fire from downtown! It's in the shoes! It's in the shoes! He's heating up! I told you this was a fun blaze. What? There's only one dude? Interesting. Sorry, I had to lay a bunch of uh, NBA Jam references on you, which is because I was on fire! What's wrong with you? We have some 556 five, mags just laying on the ground. Many nukes on the table with some jet. Also a rig shotgun. I'm guessing that's what took down that guy. It looks like he did trip the wire right there. Got some pre war money. Ah, yes, I did remember correctly. There's a lying congressional style right here. Get out of here, Skull. What else we got over here? A bouquet of grenades. I can't get that thing down. I want to see what happened if I punched it. It fell down! That'll happen. Better than it blowing up on my face, though. I was hoping it'd sail into the distance, but you can't have everything, everything you want, folks. <gasps> Ooh, Pugilism Illustrated. My favorite. Let's go ahead and read it. Where is it? I wish to read it. I have to eat it, actually. Nom, 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 nom. Okay, I've eaten that book. Ah! I was gonna say, is that all? Of course it's not all. My per perception's so bad I can't see them, but I know they're around here somewhere. Here we go. Now I see him. That's a trap! They're waiting for you to get in there, and then they're gonna spring! Spring their little goddamn trap, and throw grenades at me. Hello! How y'all doing? You're out of the way. I'll let you get a little closer. Now can I attack you? Nope. Okay, I'll concentrate on kicking your ass. There we go. Gonna take one in the fucking face. Whee! Well, shit. That'll happen. <laughs> Clearly. You know what? Fuck you guys. I'm just gonna keep going. If you see me, you can come and find me, and I'll just keep running. Oh yeah, fuck, I forgot Boom Shakalaka. Damn it. <laughs> it's 
Sorry about that, ninja style. I gotta remove, remember boom shakalaka. Especially when I punch him right in the head. That's like the perfect time for that. Okay, we're out of danger now. Birds fly in the sky. There may be civilization about. I mean, you guys remember Megaton. There's plenty of blur <laughs> blurs. There are plenty of birds flying in the sky. Okay. I sense danger straight ahead. Another stupid bat. This looks familiar. We've never been here before. Fuck you, buddy. You're gonna have to catch me first. Okay, let's just head this way. What the? What? Okay, it still wants me to go through there. We'll just go around this way. He's lost track of me already. Not a big problem at all. Or a aqua pura crate. Hmm? They're all empty, unfortunately. Whatever aqua pura is. Doesn't sound like any language I've ever heard of. Of course, I am just an ignorant vault dweller, so what do I know? Come on, Snow, you gotta fall sometime. Honestly, I can't remember the last time I left the left Megaton where it wasn't raining. When you install the enhanced weather ball, they make sure you know it's installed. Let's see, is there anybody? There's that place again. Just watch, I have to go through that goddamn place. And I've wasted all of our time going back to Megaton and all that nonsense. I don't think so, though. Yeah, it looks like we're on the right track now. That goddamn slaver camp is a trap, folks. A useless, useless trap, full of, full of fun times. Wouldn't that just be the shit there, Griffin God, if there was a, uh, Flaming Skull Punch anime? I wonder who would animate it. Because that's, that's the most important part of an anime, right? If I could get production IG on there, or Egg, or whatever it's pronounced, whoever they want it, I can't remember. That'd be pretty damn sweet. If I could choose anyone, it would definitely be them. Of course, production IG is in... They've done great things like Ghost in the Shell and whatnot. Anything that has their name on it is usually pretty goddamn awesome. Hey, this looks familiar, folks. If you remember from last session... What is that? That's a Mr. Gutsy over there. From last session, the entrance to Vault 112 was supposed to be in a gas station. And that appears to be what that is. Smith Casey's gas station. Let's just keep our heads down here. Hopefully that Mr. Gutsy just won't find me. My scotch is worn off. That means it's time for a whiskey. Smith Casey's garage. Oh shit, what we got here? Hmm, there's no entrance as far as I can tell. Probably just approached it from the wrong side. There we go. Oh my god. Rad roaches. The most dangerous of all fiends. Also, there's a... Oh, I hear you, mole rats. Oh. More mole rats. I hear you in there. I hear your wet little footsteps. Or I think they're downstairs. Yep, that's another mole rat. I hear him going rat, rat, rat. <laughs> in the way of his people, because they're people, right? Mole rats are people too. Hmm. What else do we go have around here before I open that up? Chinese pistol. I'll take the ammo at least. Go. 
<laughs> Why that mole rat scary? Because it was coming right for us. I just wanted to see that tumble down the stairs. Come here, mole rat. Oh, there's a few of them. Oh. And they tumble down the stairs. Almost playfully. No, they're dead. They can be playful and dead. They're very articulate. For corpses, anyway. And we can turn the door to Vault 112. Which I'm sure is full of more more rats. Although I don't hear any. Hey, here we go. Looks just like the door of my vault. Come on, open up. Enough dramatic tension. Ah, I got it going. Let me in there. Dad? You're around here, Dad? Dad? Hmm. Dad? Holy shit, you're not dead. Welcome to Vault 112, resident. According to sensors, you have arrived 202.3 years behind schedule. Really? Please redress in your Vault Tech issued Vault suit before proceeding. If you have misplaced your suit, I am authorized to distribute a new one. Alright. Once dressed, please proceed down the stairs to the main floor so that you may enter your assigned Tranquility Lounger. Have you seen my dad, robot? Fine. I guess I'll put on the clothes since the robot asked so nicely. Also, I have a utility suit. I think I'll wear that instead. Oh, no, maybe it wants a 12 suit. There we go. Now I'm in my 12 suit. Well, it seems nice. Dad, there's robots here. Are you here? Holy shit. Huh. I wonder if those are the train... Uh, the Tranquility Lounges it was talking about. Maybe my dad's in one of those. Taking a nap or whatever they're doing. What's this? A Grunt Merc outfit is for, <laughs> for some reason is down here. A knife and forceps. Hmm. Nothing good. I don't think there's anything of worth in here. There's a button. Not really a button, though. Recon armor. That's pretty sweet. If stealth actually worked in this goddamn game, it'd be pretty sweet. Even this deep in the vault, I can hear the thunder from outside. It's kind of breaking my immersion. But oh well. Okay, clearly the way down is over here. Dad? Are you in one of these goddamn things? There's somebody in that one, but that's not clearly him. Unless he had a sex change. That one could be him. No. Dad wasn't bald last time I saw him. Everyone's bald. Huh. No? No? This one's open. Actually, it's broken. Another woman. Another woman. Hey! Dad! I can't get him out of there, though. Dad, it's me! Dad! Come on, stop watching TV! watching dad hmm. looks like he's working security cameras or something okay let's see subject unknown let's see display resident status pulse is 84 beats per minute blood pressure is 120 over 85 body temperature is a little high but not bad respiratory rates I guess fine 
Possible program corruption. Unable to verify resident ID. Please consult a supervisor. Yeah, that's definitely my dad in there. How the hell I get him out? Robert, do you know about my dad? I'm sorry, but I am not at liberty to chat right now. Hmm. Well, I guess the only thing I can do is go in after him. Let's go ahead and save the game. And go in. Hopefully I don't get trapped in here also. Oh, here we go. What's going on? All of a sudden, I find myself in a new sepia tone world. And I'm shorter for some reason. I'm a boy. What the hell has happened? Oh, hello there. I think you should go speak with Betty. She's waiting for you. On the playground, I think. Best to hurry up. I guess so. Huh. Hey there, puppy. You're a good doggy, aren't you? Yes, you are. Hmm. Someone new to play with. What good luck I have lately. I was just starting to get bored. Oh, we're going to have so much fun. And who the hell are you? I'm Betty. I live here on Tranquility Lane. Want to play a game? Not especially. No games for me. <laughs> you don't get to say no. If I want to play a game, you're going to play. And I want to. <laughs> Look, kid, I'm not interested in playing your goddamn games. I said I want to play a game. It's easy. You make Timmy Newsbomb cry. And I'll help you. If you don't, then I guess you're stuck here. Listen, I just want to find my dad, goddammit. I wonder if I can punch you to death. You can't do that here. <laughs> I just did it, sucker. have to pay. And she kicks me square in the balls. With the force of a gauze rifle. Okay, so I can't get out that way, huh? Hmm. Oh, shit. You don't want to play my game, so I I don't see dad around here anywhere. Some impressive things they're doing. What can I do for you, sport? Have you seen my dad? Where am I? Such a kidder. You're on Tranquility Lane, of course. Where else would you be? Hmm. Have you seen my dad? Nope. Afraid not. Don't you worry about it, though. You'll find him. Hmm. Well, thanks for those words of encouragement. Can you tell me about Timmy Newsbaum? I'm supposed to make him cry or something. My boy Timmy? Good kid. Straight-laced, good head on his shoulders. Never been in so much as a fist fight. We're a close-knit family. Don't know what any of us would do if something happened. Hmm. Well, I know it's not exactly a nice day. I'm seeing everything in black and white. Something's horribly wrong. But can you tell me about this neighborhood? You mean besides how wonderful it is to live here? Everyone's very friendly. Even old lady dithers, though she's lost most of her marbles. Hmm. Well... You know this is some kind of computer simulation, don't you? Sounds like you've been spending too much time with your nose in those darned comic books, sport. Hmm. Well, I have to go now, then. Take care now. Well, I guess I have no choice. I gotta go make this kid cry. Oh, well. Hi, Martha. Hello there. Nothing like the smell of apple pie, is there? I can't get enough of it. Later. Where is this kid? Is that him? We can't the lemonade stand. Hi there, I'm Timmy. Wanna play? Not exactly, kid. <laughs> this is a speech challenge where I can tell him his parents have a divorce. Let's try it, X6% odds. You're a big dumb liar. Oh, you're asking for it now, bitch. That hurt. Cry, bitch! Cry! Quit. Nope, come here. Okay, I got him. 
Mission complete! And you said you didn't want to play. I didn't. I was hoping for more than What the hell? But entertainment has been difficult to come by lately. Uh, consider the game won. And with that, you win a prize. Your prize is one question, which I will answer to the best of my ability. For some reason, this little girl has suddenly become a German man. Where's my father, you German girl? Your father? He's a scientist. I'm looking for a Dr. Braun. Oh my, what a splendid turn of events. I had no idea the two of you were related. Yes, I have indeed seen him. I'm afraid he's rather unavailable at the moment. What have you done to him, you stupid little girl? Slash German man. Were I you, I'd be more concerned with myself at the moment. And besides, we're done with questions for now. Perhaps we'll address it at a later time. First, I have something else for you to do. Something else? What do you want me to do? Pay a visit to the Rockwells. They're very happily married. And I'd like you to change that. Put an end to their marriage. And we'll talk. Can I just kill him? That would put into the marriage. <sighs> okay, fine. But I just want to get more answers from you. Rationalize it any way you'd like. If you succeed, we'll continue our discussion. Okay. So I must ruin a relationship, huh? Let's see. Let's talk to more of these people around town. Let's see. Whose house is this? The news bomb residence. Hello. You know, if that kid didn't call me a big dumb liar, I probably wouldn't have kicked his ass. But you know. Hmm. Another lawn gnome. The hell? Hmm. Interesting. Think I'm understanding. Okay. Nope. Nope. Let's see, what else can I touch? Maybe the radio again? Nope. Okay, that worked. Okay. And then bottle? Nope. Oh, the excitement. Nope. Hmm. Maybe back to the gnome. Okay. And then the soda? What the fuck have I done? What the shit is this? Dr. Braun Entry, Toucan Lagoon. I finally come to the realization that Toucan Lagoon simulation has run its course. I'm tired of the beating sun and the ceaseless pounding of the lagoon's waves upon the shore. I should actually be reading this like a German, but my German accent's really not that great. I no longer take pleasure in watching the S Simpson wither away from scurvy or hearing Newsbaum's screams as he is devoured by a Mako shark. I am simply bored. It's time to reset the simulation once again. And I haven't been skiing for ages. And what about Slalom uh, Chalet? I'm surprised I <laughs> said Chalet correctly on the first try, to be perfectly honest. Yesterday, Dithers slipped on sh the, chalet, uh, the chalet's icy stairs, went airborne, and managed to impale himself on a wrought iron fence. That was spectacular, and completely and utterly random. I didn't expect it to happen at all, but it was awesome. Is there anything more sublime than that bl bold cr crimson upon the freshly fallen snow? It was almost enough to make me reconsider the change of scenery, but not quite. 23 years is long enough vacation in the Swiss Alps. I long for something more 
Domestic. And now finally, Tranquility Lane. I have surprised myself. I find Tranquility Lane comforting. Although distinctly American, it somehow reminds me of Kronach, the city of my childhood. Apparently that's a city over in Germany or Austria or something like that. There's a beautiful irony to this particular simulation as well. The residents here are naturally at home, completely safe, when I toy with them. When their suburban illusion is suddenly broken, it's that much more satisfying. I do believe that we shall all remain here in, in Tranquility Lane for a very long time. A very long time, indeed. Interesting. I probably shouldn't fuck with any of this other stuff just yet. Although I have an idea what it could do. Let's see, excess version control. Display current version control. Exceptions granted for pod 001, which would probably be bronze pod, I guess. Manual override for pods disabled. Remote access allowed. User S brawn privileges. Let's see, updated neural inputs to override memory access to individual users. So apparently they don't even know who the hell they are, although I retain all my memories. Revised code for the vault maintenance robots. Authentication for s -Bron required. Mm-hmm. And previous version notes. All previous versions wiped. So I know what this does, folks, but we won't do that yet. We haven't been here that long. It'd be a shame to end it all so soon. There's still a lot more for us to see. Also, nothing else is accessible in this house. So that was fun. Let's try going into more houses. What's this one? The Dither's Residence. Apparently this is the woman who's losing her marbles. You? You don't belong here. You're not supposed to be here. It's not real. None of it. It needs to end. The suffering must end. Hmm. Finally, someone who knows this is actually a simulation. How do we get out of here? We're not really here. We're not really talking. It's all made up. Make believe. We're sleeping, dreaming. The dream became a nightmare. It has to end. It just has to. But we're not in charge. He is. And he doesn't want us to wake up. Hmm. Who are you talking about? He calls himself Betty now, but he's still the same. He can put on a new face all he likes, but underneath he's still evil. Evil! Gone. Bastard thinks because he helped create this place, he's God here. But I know he still uses the fail-safe terminal. I know it. I think I found something like that. What the hell are you talking about, though? It's in the abandoned house. He doesn't want us going in there because he's afraid we might find it. It's the only terminal to the outside. The only way to shut the whole thing down. You've got to find it. Oh, I have. I actually meant to come here first before I found the abandoned house, so I could actually explain how the hell I knew it was in there, but oh well. Let's go have some fun with these with this married couple. Looks like they're in their house at the moment. 